if they use their missile or nuclear capability, uh, they're going to be uh, no more North Korea. And they know it. So they are just making threat. But uh, they're just sitting in the middle of the sanction. And eventually they, ru they run out of their resources. So you're prepared to play a, a long game? Yes, it is. Yes. The sanction is not going to work in days or weeks. It takes months. And we just have to be patient and we just have to be uh, well coordinated. And that's the only way. The alternative is uh, uh, some kind of military action, uh, which no one wants. This, these sanctions would work a lot more quickly if China closed the border down and shut oil off. Uh, yes, and China realized that. Uh, they just don't want North Korea to just uh, collapse. And then they will have uh, millions of refugees just going across the uh, North Korean border. So they need how to control the situation. You said that um, somehow China needs to be persuaded that uh, North Korea is more of a liability than an, than an asset. How, how do you do that? Well, I think they already think it that way. Uh, China now consider North Korea as a liability, not any more asset to them. Can I turn to the United States, because that's very important for, for, for Japan. Um, well, I've heard that um, Prime Minister Abe was so, was so concerned about the relationship with the Trump administration that he made you foreign minister because of your particular skills and knowledge of America, being able to speak fluent English. How, how much truth is that? Well, you're flattering me. <laughs> there was concern early on that this was going to be an administration that might not be friendly to Japan. Where do we stand a year on? Well, uh, through during the presidential campaign, Mr. Trump said a lot of things. And uh, he mentioned about Japan and some of his tweet or some of what he said were not based on the true fact. So I think we need to uh, uh, supply the real facts. And now President understand what, what it's like. You have criticized President Trump uh, for pulling out of the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Mm -hmm. um, what, why is that such a big mistake? Well, I mean, United States and Japan worked very hard to create this uh, TPP-12. It is not just a trade regime. It is to create a new international order in the Asia Pacific. And uh, we have agreement and just about uh, we are trying to sign a treaty that U.S. moved out of it. I think that was a big mistake. Japan has basically relied on the United States mm -hmm. to look after this region, mm -hmm. to defend Japan for 70 years. Mm -hmm. And you seem, and Prime Minister Abe, seem to think that that is not any, a situation that can, can any longer continue and that Japan needs to step up into a different role. So why well, and how? Okay, well, I mean, Japan needs to be able to defend itself. The security uh, regime has changed. Like North Korea now has a missile capability. We need to be able to shoot them down. So we need to increase our asset vis-a-vis -vis North Korea. And if uh, China and other countries are trying to increase their military capability, we need to be able to uh, check uh, their aggression if they try to be more aggressive.